and then we are off. So welcome everybody. It's a gorgeous night and thank you for taking the time out to be with us here on Zoom. We've got entrepreneurs uh, from across the country that are going to present tonight. We've got Lisa and Lindsay and they'll introduce themselves uh, when they come on. And we've been taking this opportunity to kind of go through the different zones with Enyo, really as an educational experience. Uh, if you have the zone, get it out. Um, if you've got questions, get ready for the end because you can ask your questions. And um, if you don't have the zone and you're just here for some information, listen up because it's all pretty cool. So Lisa, start us off. Well, I feel like I should be signing a waiver to Annual Canada saying that I will not, you know, just for what I may say, may, what I might not say, the whole bit. As I was talking earlier, guys, I, Brad, I'm almost as new as you are, like seriously, four months in. But I hope what you can see from all of this, um, how actually easy it is because it's cleaning and it's very, very straightforward and anybody can do this. Uh, what got me hooked was the skincare line, and ironically, it wasn't even me who was using it, it was my daughter's that was using it um, with, with dad's and her dad's makeup. So I have to back up the bus a little bit when I'm talking about my daughter. She had a lot of skincare issues. We went through a, a lot of different skincare lines, and as with always, when you try something new, it's effective, but then it would stop and the acne would start creeping back. And we keep switching it up, switching it up. I used to work in the medical field and there was a lot of people that their teenagers were actually on medication for their acne and we weren't gonna take that step. Um, it, the medication was so strong that actually there were papers being signed. So if females did take that medication, if they did get pregnant, um, there would have to be a further step. So I didn't want anything like that because if that's happening, what is happening on the inside, right? My daughter's also an athlete, so she is always working out and she sweats profusely. So it was a bit of a battle. Um, I kind of regret now that I didn't actually take a picture of her chest because it was getting, well, it's a girl or even a guy. I mean, that's embarrassing. It's hard enough to be a teenager, let alone having acne. Well, and you end up being the solution with its fibers. As with everything with Enyo, our big difference is that we are cleaning pore deep on our services. That includes our skin. We're only cleaning with cold water. I learned later on with those skin lines, you have those specific steps that you actually can't miss because if you don't, you're not bringing back your pH level to its normal um, number. I'm having a drawing a blank as what it is. So there's all these steps that we really didn't follow, but we can follow cold water, am I right? So what's interesting about this too, thinking back how life is so much simpler with this, what if I had this when we used to go to socials? Now I know socials are in Ontario. Uh, here it's when everyone gets together, they're raising money. Needless to say, it's late night, lots of dancing, late night not washing your makeup off. I could have washed my makeup off if it was just water, okay? So I wanna show you this, this, is the iPad that actually started my story. So if you look nice and close, you probably can't see, but your annualpreneur can totally show this to you. You can see that, look at that. So that's the fiber. So there's a base on in between. So you've got two surfaces to actually clean your face. We also have the little face duo glove that actually has the same fibers here and then on this side if you prefer or need a little bit of an exfoliant it's got you covered there one thing you really must remember with this and i know what kind of program to scrub to get clean please don't it's not necessary it's just a light touch with cold water and you remove all the dirt and the grime um, and anything that's going to cause that acne, um, even under helmets for hockey and football and so forth. And with being um, just needing cold water, you can take this absolutely anywhere. You're camping, uh, you have it in your purse if you're having a stressful day, you know, like right now, and then just dip it and, and just wipe everything down. Or if you're a spaz like me, you end up wearing everything. Like literally, I usually wear 
black, but I'm like living on the edge and I ordered a white Enyo shirt. I'll have to be packing this with me because literally it just, like with all our fibers, it absolutely just lifts it up. Now, another thing I have to tell you about, and I knew I was going to forget, and I couldn't have any post-it notes because you can see everything in my bathroom, is this actually, we have a little tag on our larger pieces. So though we are a humble company, we're very proud of our achievements, and as we should be. So this is a five-star clinically tested uh, original excellent derma test. So we have approval from dermatologists and that's pretty important because if you think about it quite often dermatologists have different solutions and creams um, to fix any ailment and they're approving the fibers so i thought i'd do something a little bit different a little bit wacky because that's just me and that's how i roll but i actually have an ipad right here in cold water hold on and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to take off your makeup. Now I have to tell you, I, so I was talking to the girls before I went into my appointment. My appointment was I got my eyebrows back, okay, so they're tinted, and I got my lip waxed. Brad, that's what girls do, okay? So with any type of waxing, you need to exfoliate that night, right? Because girls, if you don't exfoliate, you're gonna end up getting little pimples. So later on tonight, I'm gonna to take my glove, or um, actually the little jerry pad special that we had. And I gotta point this out, hold on. You're so lucky, because when you ha we have specials, you can see mine sturdy right now. Um, we have different colors, like all these fun things that come from Austria, but the great thing is, you know what the fiber is. It's just a color change or possible shape change. So you can actually build on your collection or you can share it as gifts because you know how wonderful it is. I cannot tell you how many dancers actually have the iPads um, in Amanda's class. And uh, lots of people, are, like even her friends, like they're 19 and they're buying all the stuff from Sephora uh, and all that stuff, the expensive stuff, uh, Jeffree Star, but they're getting our product to remove, them, remove their makeup. They're saving a ton of money. I know myself, I'm a creature of habit, so it took a while to jump on the iPad train, though I even had one for years, because I always supported somebody in direct sales from my eye makeup remover. Then I started thinking about how much money I'm saving without buying eye makeup remover and cotton pads. And we know our cotton pads um, don't have this profile, right? They're flat, you're not getting into the creases, you're not getting into the lash bed, especially when it comes to allergy season. So I had a bit of a, I don't know, I kind of searched my soul a little bit about changing up on that. But then I realized I can have more fun with makeup and I can actually play and purchase other things to support in her business. I'm a big believer in direct sales and there's more than one item that you can support your friend with. So I'm gonna stop talking briefly and I'm gonna show you how effective this is. So literally, I'm gonna just rest on here for a minute because I have waterproof mascara. This will, Brad, it'll take off your waterproof mascara, so don't worry. And literally, I know it looks like I'm scrubbing. I'm not. Okay, that's one thing. It's so important when we're like released from COVID that people will actually see this because it's not being rough at all. Okay, so you can see that it's starting to come out. Again, just cold water. The eyebrows will be staying. Those were just done. But there we go, and literally everything comes off with ease. There is no excuse for us not to wash our face. My routine in the morning is like, well, actually you're in here right now, the bathroom, and I'll have a shower, and then after the shower, I'll take my iPad or whatever, purple glove, because that's our zone, and just cold water, and it refreshes you. Okay, one thing people forget, it's not all about makeup removal. Makeup removal is our most effective before and after thing, but you have to wash your face. And as teenagers, our parents always told us, you gotta wash your face. But it's amazing how many adults don't wash their face, okay? So if you take care of your skin, um, it'll be so much better, you'll appear younger. There's actually studies on how um, after time, the fine lines, 
the left of it is, uh, actually become reduced. So I think like, that's about all I have to say because I do have the gift of the gab. Uh, <laughs> any, anybody have any questions? Um, oh yeah, and one more thing. Get the kids started on this now, okay? If you can get your kids imitating you with a simple iPad or what Lindsay has to share with you, their teenage years are gonna be much easier. It's hard enough being a teenager, but if you've got acne to deal with as well, let's just take that away, right? So I think that's about it. I'm really happy I didn't drop my phone uh, in the sink. That was my original plan having face in the other way, but thought better of it. Does anybody have any questions? No. Oh, I was all, one more thing. Our handy dandy little tag is on every piece. So you know when you need to replace, remember these will last you three years when you take care of them, uh, hot water and soap to wash and you're good to go. Keep it out of the dryer, hang to dry. It's very, very simple. Thank you, Lisa. That was really awesome. I'm just going to switch it over to Lindsay here and Lindsay's going to follow up. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Lindsay Cleveland. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur now for just over a year. Um, I live in Point Clark um, along the shores of Lake Huron, so not too far from uh, Lori. And I'm going to share with you the rest of the skin zone as well as some extra fibers that we have um, that we can use on our skin as well. So Lisa was showing you the face duo glove and then the iPad. So these come in your skin zone, but what also comes in your skin zone are these two fibers. So they're actually the same fiber on both sides of them. So this right here is the iPad fiber, the exact same fiber that Lisa was just talking about that she used to take um, her makeup off. You will see this fiber on um, at least one side of every product in the skincare line. So that's on that side. And then on the other side, there is a darker fiber. Okay, so this is just a glove you can stick your hand into, and it has this little, um, I don't know, stitch in the middle of it. So you can keep your hand in better. And then this is just a cloth. So again, these are the exact same fiber on both sides, but um, they are one's a cloth and one is a glove. So I want to show you something here. So this is the one that was on your skin. This is the one that Lisa was showing you. Notice how this is lighter and this is darker. So like with all things Enyo, the darker the fiber, the stronger the fiber. So this is a bit of a, um, a little bit of a softer fiber. So again, you're using this on the skin on your face because it's more sensitive. Um, our skin is more, it's more durable. It needs a bit of a better scrub. So that is why we need the darker fiber to do that. Um, so I know a lot of people struggle with this at the beginning because they think they need to be using soap to clean their bodies because that's how we always did it. Um, quite frankly, once you switch over um, and then you try to use soap again, you will come out of the shower feeling like you have a film of something all over your skin. Um, so uh, it is really, it's, it's a life changer, especially like if you do have problems again, like Lisa was saying with acne, people have acne on their body, um, not just their face. So these fibers do a fantastic job of cleaning your skin without using the soaps. Um, and then a lot of people are like, okay, maybe my body, but it's not like my armpits. And I'm telling you, this is the place that you especially need to be using these fibers because especially if you're someone who's tried uh, the all, more all natural deodorants. I have, I've tried like a million different um, types to try to get the right one. But a lot of people are like, oh, I still start to get a smell. I'm like, what are you using to clean under your armpits? The same thing with your face, there's pH under your armpits. And there's also a lot of bacteria and stuff that can grow. So with Enyo, it literally gets in under there, pulls all of that stuff out. And what makes your armpits smell is, um, literally bacteria and the moisture coming out of the skin with your bacteria. So if you start trying this, your mind will be blown um, at how clean your skin feels without using that soap. So like all things Enyo, it's a pore deep clean. So it actually, when you use this on your skin again, just light circular motions, 
um, it lifts away the oil and the dead skin um, from the surface and it stimulates circulation as well. So what happens then is it helps with your blood pressure and an oxygen supply to your skin. So it really does help um, get things going. And just another little tip you can do um, is if you want to, you can try starting from your feet um, and work your way up and then your hands to your heart. And if you do that, that's just an extra technique to get the circulation flowing. But you don't have to overthink it when you're in the shower, how you're gonna do it, literally. Just use your glove. And here's the other thing. I know you always hear cold water, cold water, cold water. So everyone's like, you expect me to have a cold water to clean my skin. Um, and absolutely not, you do not need to do that. Um, because really we're just gonna be using this as our tool to clean off our skin and you're not, if, if you're in a shower and you are trying to remove like makeup, like mascara, you are going to want to use cold water for that. Like, so don't try to be like doing everything at once in your hot shower because good waterproof mascara or any mascara will not come off while using more water. But just your general basic body care, you're okay to be in your shower um, and just using your fibers in your light circular motions um, to do that. That is absolutely fine. So again, these are just different options. Um, you could, like your husband could use this, you could use this, whatever, the kids, um, that's what you're gonna wanna do. And also, after you've used these in the shower, um, it's really important, uh, and I'll kind of get to this at the end, because um, I'm gonna talk about um, cleaning all your fibers, but you do wanna make sure um, that these are getting dried out. Um, so after you've used them and you've wrung out all, all of the excess water, um, you can hang them in your shower if there is a lot of airflow, if there's a good amount of airflow. If there's not, I would try to hang it somewhere outside your shower. If you're finding that you're going, um, like the next day you're getting in and it's still soaking wet, that uh, it's not drying out well enough, and if you end up with a smell in your fibers, that's what's happening, okay? They're not drying out well enough. So. Just make sure that after you use them in the shower, um, that you are hanging them out to dry. So I'll kind of um, get into that right now. Um, before I get into, I've got some kids related stain care I'm going to talk about. Um, but so basically, Lisa talked about the stuff for all your um, face. This is everything to clean your body. But we need to talk about how to keep these um, fibers clean um, overall. You know what? Actually, I'm going to pull Lisa here and I just had a thought. I remember when we were talking about this, obviously it's just doing like your basic skin cleaning, but even um, like, okay, I've got a pen here. So even if you just kind of like, if, you know, if your kid or somebody got pen all over them, I just got cold water in my water bottle here. Okay. And then literally like your pen just comes right off here. Okay. So Anything like that. It's not, you have general care, but if you come in from gardening and you weren't wearing your shoes and your feet are all um, full of dirt, especially if you've got any cracks in your feet, get your endo fibers out and wipe them all off, okay? So just anytime you think you need to quickly clean your skin, you just grab a fiber and, uh, and clean away. So then I'm gonna talk about how to clean these off. So when you're cleaning your face, um, especially if you are using it on makeup, I did another thing too. So before the call, I put a bunch of mascara and uh, some concealer on my hands. So again, if I am doing my um, just regular skincare routine, I'm just gonna wipe this all off here. This was my mascara and my concealer. So now you can see it's black. Don't just wipe off your mascara, wipe off your makeup, and then hang this to dry to come back to it the next day, okay? You really should be rinsing this out. So even if, I know some people just want to do hot water. So you can do that. And it's not bad. It's better than nothing. I don't know if you can kind of see this. There's still like some black in my glove though. So what I recommend and what I personally do every night, I clean my skin. Um, this is the orange blossom washing up liquid. So this is the best soap to keep your fibers clean. Um, I actually just have a little, I just poured a little bit into this little travel size thing. I have this sitting in a cupboard right in my bathroom. Um, so I just pump one, not even a full pump, just a little tiny bit on there. Just use your fingers really quickly. Get hot water. Get in there. And then again, squeeze it. Never wring your endo fibers because you will break the fibers. So just squeeze the excess water out. 
then you can see it is nice and clean. And then I just hang it to dry. So if you like makeup, especially like there's all kinds of products inside of our makeup. So if you just leave that in your fiber and then hang it up to dry, um, if that, if that's where you're going to get smells too. If anybody contacts me and says, Oh, my fiber, my skincare fibers are starting to smell. Uh, it's either because a, you're not cleaning them out well enough, or even if you're if you're using another soap that's not NEO, they can have a lot of different surfactants in them um, that could get stuck in there as well. So really and truly, the orange blossom washing up liquid, it's super concentrated. You don't need a lot of it. But if you use this on your fibers just every day, and like it still took me less time to, it would take me less time to clean my face and do that quick little step of soap, wash, squeeze, and hang than it used to take me for my um my eye makeup remover my cleanser my toner my moisture like the whole system just taking the time to quickly rinse it out it's really not a hard step the other thing i would recommend you do too so that's just what i do on a daily basis but then every so often or if you feel um that maybe there is a little bit of a smell coming in um or you're just going to do some laundry you can even do this once a week or once every other week um i would just you can either do it in the bottom of your sink with just a little bit of water or you can throw it in a bowl. Just get a little bit of water. You can do all, if you have like, everybody in your house has different fibers, you can do it all kind of in one uh, bowl. Just again. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. There we go, I'll use this one. Just like a little squirt of washing up liquid. Again, I would put some on my fibers. I would just kind of get it in there, get in there with your fingernails, both sides of the fibers. Get it in some hot water, squeeze it out of it. And then literally let them soak. So you can let them soak for an hour. You can let them soak for 24 hours, and then get them into your washing machine when you're doing um, the rest of your endo. Again, best thing you can use is the endo laundry liquid um, because we know this is a safe mild soap that's great for you. It's great for your fibers. So you then just wash that in your um, washing machine with hot water, and then, like Lisa said, hang to dry. Do not put these in the dryer. So. Um, that should make sure that all your skincare fibers um, stay nice and clean. Um, and yes, but if you ever have any issues with your fibers or, or you do feel like you're getting smell or something, just reach out to your end of We can help you with that. No end of fibers should ever have smell to them, okay? So that is cleaning um, your fibers. Now I just want to touch, I actually have, um, well I currently have a two year old, he's turning three in a couple weeks. Um, and so there are some annual fibers that are for kids. So again, we used to show you this. So this iPad here, the lovely Lori Pompey gifted me when um, we adopted my son Daniel. And this is what I used to clean his skin um, when we did bath time. So I never used soap on his skin because I know it's not necessary. So this is what I used because this didn't exist. So, and this does still actually work really well if you have a little itty bitty baby. But then, I don't know if it was around a year and a half ago, two years, I don't know when it was. We got this lovely fiber. Um, it, it's called the Kids Cloth. Again, it's the iPad fiber. Called Kids Cloth, fantastic for kids. But again, if you're anybody who has really sensitive skin, you can use this cloth, especially even like um, elderly people also have sensitive skin. So, this is a great cloth that they can use. Um, to clean their skin. But for me, um, we have one of these in a diaper bag. We've got one pretty much what we do, every bathroom, kitchen sink, um, because it's just a really easy, quick thing for me to grab, put some cold water on it, um, white faces, white pans, again, you're outside. Um, he comes in with dirty feet, just literally, it's a head to toe wipe. And again, in bath time now, this is all I use. He's not in any kind of soaps. Um, there are kids, especially like if kids have sensitive skin or you have a problem with eczema, um, anything like that. Soaps, I know people that have spent so much money on different kinds of soap and then trying to get medicated soaps and all this stuff because their children are reacting um, to what's being used to clean their skin. And they have switched over to using the endofibers to clean their skin. And eczema has literally cleared up like within days. So it is really important. We don't need to be using soaps on our kids. And again, think of how much money you're spending on soap. Okay, so this is all I use. Even like mosquito bites. If you have mosquito bite, the, this, the fiber that's on here, the iPad fiber, rub it. If you can get to it really quickly, cold water, wipe it off. 
nobody will be itchy. So, um, so this is what I use. And then again, um, I would literally just after I've like wiped them off, I would just run it under some warm water, depending on how dirty it is. Um, I could use some washing up liquid and hang it to dry. Um, oh, even like paint, like everything. Literally, if you're cleaning your child's skin, this is um, all you need to do it. So there's that. And then also came along relatively recently. People were actually using these, um, the kids' cloth. They were using these to do diaper changes instead of the disposable wipes, um, which was fantastic. But then um, some people didn't like that, like, oh, was, it, was this one used to do a bum and then I'm using it on a face and all that stuff. So I'm going to solve that problem. And we have the annual baby wipes. So I switched over as soon as these came out. I did switch over to using these four diaper changes, and I will not lie, I was skeptical. And I like I went through my skeptical moments with all things I know and love everything, but these still I was a little like, I'm not sure. But oh my goodness, my child now, if I don't come with my um annual claw and a baby wife touches him, he's like, want mommy's special claw. So even my son prefers getting his bum clean with these. Um, so if we want to talk about um, money, so you get a set of six of these, you get three pink and three blue for $54. So wipes, we still do keep some around because my husband uses wipes and if we go to daycare um, or even out of the house. So we do still have to use some of these, but like barely any. Um, so the average person spends between $150 and $300 a year. And that depends what kind you're using. Like we get the more expensive ones that are a little more uh, pure, so they call them. Um, and so I know I'm sure we're over 300, but even if you just want to say like an average $250 a year, um, if your child is maybe potty trained by three, congratulations, mine is not, but um, that would be three years. And I can tell you that six of these will get you through that three years. So instead of spending $750 on baby wipes that are going to the landfill in mass amounts, like mass amounts, you can use these for $54 for three years. And when you're finished with them, you get them back to your entrepreneur and then we recycle them. So literally nothing hits the landfill. So on top of the fact that you're saving a ton of money and you're saving the landfill, as someone who has changed a lot of diapers in the last three years, um, if I'm out and about now and I have to change a baby diaper, my mind is blown on what a pain it is with those little teeny tiny bites and trying not to get it on your hands. And then it's like, it's awful. Like they're, <laughs> they don't even do a really great job. Whereas with this, you can clean it up much better. So I just want to show you um, what I do. So this is one I have hanging on my tap. This is one that has been used. Um, really recently. So, anyways, what you should do is fold it in half. Once you have it folded in half, you start cleaning up the mess. If they're usually actually use a diaper to pull off most of it. Um, anyway, then you go down, pick up what you can. If there's some kind of stuff in there, fold it in half again. Now you have two more clean sides to do your finishing touches with doing um, with cleaning everything up. So. If you, um, like especially in the, young, in the younger years, you are doing it on a change table. So literally you could keep like an annual water bottle at the, um, at the change table with the wipe. I would just recommend, you know, you're going in to change your food with your change table. So quickly just get your cloth, put some cold water on it, squeeze out the excess and you're ready to go. So once you are finished and you do need to clean it out, all you need to do is turn it to your hot water. Um, and then just literally start going back and forth like this. And of course, so just like rub it like that in the water. Everything will come out like really easy. You do not actually even need to be using soap because honestly, who doesn't have like greasy, grimy stuff like that? You will wash the hot water, it will, everything will just come right off. So if you want to put a shot of washing up liquid on there because it makes you feel better. You can absolutely do that, um, but it's not necessary. So I literally do that 
and then I hang it here at my laundry sink. And then next time I have one to clean up, I grab it, cold water, and go. So again, it comes with six. I only ever have two on the go because honestly, you have like one or two messy, really messy ones a day. And so again, I just wash, reuse, and then when I feel like I need a new one, I grab the other one. And then at the end of the week, throw it in the wash and wash it in the washing machine. So um, I only have two on the go, but especially in the younger years, um, when there's a lot more changes you want, might want to have more than that. Um, going on. But I will tell you, changing a diaper with one of these is, is life changing. It makes your life so, so, so much better. Saves you money. Feels better for the kids because especially if you ever run into a bum rash situation and you try to touch a bum with a light and they scream, it's because there's something in there. And even I've got the ones that are like 99% water, something, something. But when I was trying to pronounce the ingredients in it, even though it's hypoallergenic and fragrance free and paraben free, da 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 da, I can't pronounce most of the ingredients in these things. So there's still stuff in this. So I can just use water. So those are your baby wipes. They are fantastically life changing for those of us who are dealing with that. Um, so I think that is it. That's all I got. Wow, good job, good job, you guys. I am so proud of you too. This is excellent. <laughs> For being really young and your funners, you really know your stuff. So thank you very much. Um, I do want everyone to unmute themselves. If you've got any questions, I'm just actually gonna stop the recording so people feel comfortable um, talking. But thanks girls uh, for joining us and doing the skincare line.